Asado College. Um, after the first, I think the first Saturday or so, they, they had entertainment and I saw, like, we had a disco selling John, you know, a guy really singing like a female. You know, with other schools, they, they try to imitate um, maybe another artist. Let's say somebody dresses like um, Lumba, perform the song, somebody dress like somebody, and you know. But in Addis Adel, no, no, no. You need to be an artist to be on the stage. We had ragga artists like Viper, and Senior, and was a fag master. We had, we had you, you mentioned names, like anything we do is original. So um, it caught my attention. I was like, wow, this thing they view. Hey, so if you don't have one song that, hey, can this thing really have like, hey, this is dangerous. Hey. So after that, that um, I, came, I came back home, there was this guy called Newman. I think he worked at TV, TV Africa now. So he's the first guy who wrote my rap for me in PG. Then I went to do it for like, four months, night or something. Then it was nice. Then I had another friend, he was a rapper. Then we became a group and then so that's where all these things started. You, you know the sad story? From the beginning I never feel like giving up. But exclusively I'll tell you today, now I feel like giving up. My children motivate me not to. Because I'm, like I told you, this is for my my son, just in case he wants to do music, I've told him he can, if he wants to be a musician, he should play an instrument. And then maybe he sees me play high life all the time. He might, he might be pulled away some way, somehow, with the other genres, because more of it are being played, and maybe he might listen to the radio more, but it's my duty to also let him know that no matter what is played out there, it's fine, you can do it, but this is ours. So look at how your papa works, how he does his stuff, and how he's been, gen like, he's been genuine to the Jenna and follow his footsteps. So at least I know when I'm no more, they could take over, yeah. There are times that I feel that, oh, this is the way I want the song to go. When I do, it's like, no, it ain't good. I don't like it, bro. Sometimes I have to finish a whole song. And then you, you just put everything down and say, look, go home and write again. I have certain ideas that I have not brought out here. Like sometimes when I'm writing something, I feel like I want this thing to be like this, but it, it turns out to be different. Um, I'm trying to get an example. Lately, I've gotten like few ideas about how to come about the lyrics and to, to, to bring out the true feeling I have for the theme I, I, I'm struggling to, to come up with. There are people that are seeing a lot of things around them, yet they can't write anything. You understand? It could be um, family issues, things you've seen on TV, movies. I mean, things happening around you. And, and lately, when situations happen with me, I get more ideas to write a song about it. I, I do music for everyone. I'm, I believe music is a message. Yeah, and um, young and old can relate to every message. Some messages are for the old, like I said. So if it is for the old, obviously the young won't understand. And like um, with music, you can, you ha you can have um, different targets depending on the kind of song you're doing. On an album, I can have three songs for like everybody, two songs for like the elderly, one for the kids, one for, you know, just to get the variety on the album. I think the only thing that bothers me is when my mind is disturbed, I can't, I can't get anything done right. Like when I'm thinking of something bothering me, like I, I could put in the beat to play or think of a thing to write about and I'll be sitting for like a day and there's no line coming up. And even if a line should come, it sounds like it's not sounding good, you know, I have to let go. Every musician, Every musician writes with moods. Every musician. When you are happy, you get a happy vibe. You can be happy and try and write a sad song, but it won't come out as when you are sad writing. Besides music. <laughs> you want me to say things there? <laughs> oh, hey, this question there. Okay, we'll be in painting. Yeah, um, I, I love to draw too. I did visual art in school. But I just didn't pursue it. I, I love to draw. I, I want to see like drawing um, landscapes, you know, having a picture, looking at that side, trying to bring out something. Even if it doesn't look the same, you have a picture out. I, I feel, I, I mean, and I, when, when I was doing um, drawing and painting, I, I love to draw something with rivers, you know, waterfalls. Because I, I love how to, how to create the water, you know, and how it falls and then the feeling you get between when it's falling and the one already down, you know. How to create it, uh, it's, it's interesting. So I think I would, I would have gone that way. Um, frankly, I feel that... <laughs> okay, 
you are making me give you more excuses. Eh? I, I, I feel I am, I'm not what you, you guys think I am. I don't know, I, I, I think what I write is, because I have a younger brother. It's called 707. I have a younger brother called Joshua. And when they are here, you know that I know nothing. <laughs> he, he, he plays the guitar and raps, he plays and sings. The other one plays the guitar and they are so good. So sometimes when they're like, oh, Kumi is good, I'm like, eh, if my guy can't hear right now, you guys go see. <laughs> oh, stop that, baby. Stop that. Well, it should go like, Kukunte with um, Okorone with granite, granite soup. You get it? Or um, it should go, it should go like, um, if you want me to go exotic, um, jollof with um, veggies and, you know, like carrots, green beans, you know, you find them and with a chicken breast, you know, cut, the, I mean, you find the pieces in it with fried egg and with salad and, you know, yeah. <laughs> Somebody, I just said somebody said that's why you're fat. Uh -huh. <laughs> if my creative product could could have an odor, it would smell like Kole because you can't run away from it. You should feel it if you're around it. You will smell it. Yeah, yeah. It got to a time when you pass by the place, you think the thing is gone. When you are entering into the gym stand, then it says, "Hello, I'm around." <laughs> if you come to my car, I have series of Ampedu. Um, I have series of Amachi Dede, Akwesian Pofweje, Oheni Bakisi. I have. I, I love to listen to them more. I think if I, I should change anything, it will be the mentality of my people. Um, the way we think about ourselves, the way we think of um, how we relate to each other. Abba. Ah. music cause it has to do with content I was saying what can sempa say I don't know ma say I be they are sitting in one, so can he? Mumma is here, At least play an instrument. I see a drum man on here. It to me, I try and say, I like Mordu. I like Mordu. If you wanna be like me, you got to learn well. If you wanna be like me, the world might reject you. Yeah, if you wanna be like me. He be an agana for one pair was him. The beggar said, When I got to a fro pop, and I got to new for frobi. The beggar said to new to say whiskey. A man who call radio swa, ye who call TV swa. Then you mean as a Nigeria for new, yeah. Where are we going? Where are we going if you want to be like me? You for day inside, you for sing I life, you for sing I life. Can't be like me, eh? You know, man, you can even be greater. But make we all support high life. Not high life, and funny to my pain for When we go to the festivals, I'm fracking, I'm boy guitar, I'm boy piano, I'm so 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 so